Hi, I'm Ben Thomas from MLA with our beef industry projections at this point in 2015. And it's fair to say that factors that put upward pressure on beef prices face very little opposition and extraordinary shifts in the industry are ahead. Let's start with the supply side. For five years to 2012, his numbers of cattle slaughtered in the eastern states average for each week of the year. In 2013, drought gripped. So from May onwards, increased turnoff took the line well beyond the average. In 2014, that intensified even further. So weekly slaughter numbers averaged 22% above the long-term line. But here's an interesting detail. Female slaughter as a percentage of total. Over 50% for only the third time in 40 years. Taking a longer view, 78 was the last time we slaughtered more cattle and now live export takes total turnoff beyond any year in the past 40. There's got to be a limit and our modelling shows a dramatic drop whether or not there's a widespread break in drought conditions. ABS data confirms the national herd coming off its 35 year high which we see continuing to a 20 year low in 2016 with flow on effects to available supplies for the rest of the decade. Looking at actual meat production, slaughter numbers plus the trend to heavier carcasses trounced the previous high. But a forecast drop of 16% this year should put product volume back to around 10 year average. On the demand side, one factor towers over all else, the USA. For the previous five years, this range was the month to month pattern for Aussie export volume to the US. In 2014, the line passes up and out and keeps going, a trend we see continuing this year. Strength of the US dollar is a factor of course, but it's as much to do with historically low American production, the effects seen here in record prices in US dollar terms. MLA anticipates a considerable redirection of exports away from the other markets, and for the domestic market to be just as stretched. Producers with a choice of markets may do well to pay close attention this year with real potential to secure much stronger farm gate prices. MLA's industry projections are built on the data collected by our 26 livestock market offices covering 70 livestock sales a week, Australia-wide, along with our team of market analysts here in Sydney and in conjunction with industry. Now one key assumption of our modelling this time is that Australia phases out of drought over the next 12 months. Whether that happens, and the timing if it does, will have a major influence on the supply situation. So we'll be updating these projections quarterly. For the full report, go to this web address. See you next time.